Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Matthew Dufresne. I am the manager of sales here at Law Ruler. Profit Solves number one CRM solution for the legal space. Today, we're going to be going over streamlining your client intake and how to make it as simple and seamless of a process as possible to help you convert more clients and make more money. So let's go ahead and dive into what this webinar is gonna look like today. It should take about 30 minutes in total. We're gonna go over a few of the features that allow you to streamline your client intake and how to do that, how to put them into practice. One of those features is the open API, how that's going to help you streamline everything. Then we're gonna dive into custom tailored automations, workflow automations, go over a conditional logic and the mobile friendly intakes, we're going to go over the one-click e-sign and how you can send it out via text message and email. We're also going to go over the built-in dialer and how I can schedule calls to help with the intake process and conversion. And of course, the dashboard and custom reporting features and showing you how it can help make the um, easiest decisions possible when regarding to your marketing and where your efficiency um, needs to be improved in part of your process. After all of that has gone over, we'll go ahead and dive into the QA process. And I'll ask you guys if you have any questions and we can go ahead and get them answered. So without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll dive into the first topic at hand, that open API. So with Law Ruler, the first part about streamlining your client intake process to make sure that your CRM integrates well with everything that you have out there. In order to do that, the product has to have an open API. An open API allows the product to talk with any of the marketing systems out there or any of the other people referring you clients and allows you to easily take in those clients as they come in and have them automatically entered into your CRM. That is the first and one of the most important parts of that simple seamless process when it comes to streamlining your client intake process, because you don't want to have a clunky system here. You don't want it to go to an email inbox. You might miss them. You don't want it to go somewhere where somebody's going to have to do double data entry and then enter them into the CRM again. You just want everything flowing in automatically. This way, nobody gets stuck. Nobody gets lost. And everything just comes in very nice and easy. You can track where they come from as well. Because another part of keeping everything um, streamlined is part of the marketing reporting side of the intake process that not a lot of people think about when um, considering intake and streamlining everything. You want to make sure that you have the most accurate marketing data because that's going to be where you put the money and that's where your intake process starts. So with the open API, it's going to go ahead and dive into that. It's going to be able to give you the most accurate reporting. You won't have to rely on emails or asking the client, hey, where did you hear about us? Everything will flow in. And then also on the back end with the open API, it'll flow into your practice management software, easy creating a seamless transition from intake to case. So that's the first step. You want to make sure that all of this is hooked into your efforts. If you do not have this already hooked into all of your efforts, please contact support at lawruler.com or your account manager. They can help you get everything set up to be integrated in the system. We're always happy to help and any way, any way that we can. So the next part about it is going to be utilizing automation. You want to automate as much as possible to where it still has a good human experience. Automation can help you vastly improve your customer's journey. Now, you don't want to over-automate. There's a fine line you need to walk because you don't want to make it to where you never talk to the client or it's not personal. However, Law Ruler gives you a nice feature uh, with customizing those automations to where you can create a nice customer journey while still streamlining that intake process. Part of it is knowing where your funnels are and creating a map on where your automation should be. So the best thing to do to streamline your intake is take a look at your intake as it works now. And then what you're going to do is make a roadmap. You're going to say this, this client comes in from this source, let's say a contact us form. What happens next right now? Do, does somebody manually get the email and then enter it into the CRM? Does somebody manually call them or send them an email? And then you want to find out once you get the entire intake workflow, you want to put automation in place where it can. In the example of the contact us form, you can put automation in the first spot. A lead comes in, it comes in, automation sends them a text message and email saying, hey, thank you for filling out our contact form online uh, about your auto accident case. We'd love to learn more about your situation. After that, you figure out what's the next course of action. 
Do we send them an intake form to fill out? Do we schedule a call with that client? Or what's the next part of your process? Do you schedule a first meeting? So you wanna take a look at what's next and connect those with the automation. If it's sending an intake and filling out the intake is your first priority, use the automation. If it's after hours, you can even say, hey, you know, thank you for contacting us after hours. Here is the intake, Here's the intake form. Uh, we'd love to learn a little bit more about your situation. And that can send them that mobile friendly intake we'll get into in a second. The other thing you wanna do when streamlining your client intake with automation is you wanna also make it as easy as possible for you to follow up with your clients throughout the process. You can use the automation inside a law ruler to set up notifications to yourself in case there's certain parts of that workflow that you need to be reminded of, such as waiting on documents, you know, what part of the process they're at. Do they have an upcoming meeting? The other thing that you wanna do is schedule calls. Create times, uh, Law Ruler's dialer works with the automation that you can have calls scheduled at specific times and you can rem always remember to call your client back. You'll never miss a client call again. And it's good for them to hear from you every now and then as well throughout the intake process. It just helps move everything along. Even if there is just an update where you're still waiting on documents, you can shoot them a text message if you don't wanna call. But this allows you to streamline that entire process, giving you more time to take more intakes, convert more clients, but also making sure that everybody's client journey is still as good as it can possibly be. So the next step of this is gonna be the mobile friendly intake. Biggest thing of the intake process is the actual intake. It's filling out the questions, making sure they qualify, and then moving them on to the next part of the process if they do or do not. You wanna make sure the intake tool you are using can work with that workflow. If you're a firm that has multiple case types, Law Ruler has different intake forms for each case type. If you have a generic form, you can make sure that you know, every case type out there has that same generic form on them, um, just as like an introductory intake if that's part of your process. And you can even use conditional logic. Now, conditional logic is a really good way to streamline your intake process. There's a lot of ways you can use that that people don't know inside of Law Ruler that I help them achieve. For example, I have a firm that has it all set up with conditional logic where if they answer a certain way, it can either reject or approve them to move on to the next step because they have strict criteria that needs to be met. So you can actually set the conditional logic where, you know, if you see these questions up here, where you hospitalize, yes, then it can pop up another question in between right before did the highway patrol file a report asking for the name of the hospital or any records. It can also even uh, pop up a document uploading tool where the client can actually upload a document directly from their cell phone, streamlining the document gathering phase of the intake as well. So if you want, or if you have any questions about how to set up that intake form to utilize conditional logic to the best of its potential, please again, contact support at lawruler.com or your account manager. We're happy to walk through your current process and show you where you can implement that conditional logic to help streamline your intake process. Because it is really phenomenal that you can use such an adaptive intake form to improve your process at different parts of the intake as well. You know, some people don't even use the screen for the intake. Some people do an internal intake where they just ask the questions over the phone. You can then hide all those fields from the client and then just send them document uploading sections. You know, so almost like a document portal where you can turn this into on their phone. You could say, please upload your police report here, your accident here, photos here, and those will all automatically save in that client's file. So a lot of cool things you can do here to streamline that intake process. Now, when I talk to a lot of firms, the longest part of the intake is setting up, or the most manual part, is setting up that contract when sending it out. And then a lot of times when they do manually do it, they can only send it out via email. Emailing a contract isn't bad per se, but it doesn't get you the kind of conversion rates that the top firms that are growing day after day have. And the reason for that is you need to be able to text it. You know, emails can get lost in transition and it's argue, it allows you to argue with the client over the phone. Hey, I sent you the e-sign. Did you get it? No, I didn't get it. Oh, did you check your spam? It's not in my spam. I checked it a thousand times. It goes down a road that's never good. Then you have to keep resending it, spending more money to send out each e-sign. It's not the case here. You want to make sure that A, there's no double data entry. So this intake flows seamlessly into the e-sign process. All the information you filled out on that intake will automatically map and customize your e-sign fee agreement. 
that works for both retainer agreements and fee agreements, even with custom fields. Ask your account manager to learn up how to sync those custom fields to your eSign. You'd be surprised at how many variable fields we can do. Now, when you hit that button and you send it out to them, the biggest thing is a text message capability. So with one click, it's gonna fill everything out. It's gonna shoot them a text while you're still on the phone. Because as soon as you hang up that phone, the chance of getting them back on the line drops significantly. It's easier just to do more one call closes. And with you not having to spend an hour setting up the e-sign, just hitting a button, you're able to do that a lot more. The next part is you, you will send them an email. So if people prefer an email, they'll still get it. But for those of them, for those people who don't like to use email, they'll get a text message. They click on it. It's a huge blue button in the top right-hand side that says get started. They can sign it once and then hit insert everywhere. There's a lot of things that you can do to make this just as simple as possible because the fee agreement should be the easiest thing they have to do at any part of this process because this is what makes you money is when they sign this agreement. They need to have a simple process for this in order to streamline that intake because without this being simplified, even if you simplify everything else and leave this part out, that will cost you conversions. That'll cost you money. This process will leave it to where they get it. They can fill it out right on their phone. They can sign it. Life is easy. They hit send updates the client's file and log wheeler automatically and uploads that document to the upload folder. No more having to go into the email that they sent you back, having to download that or from DocuSign, having to download it and then re-upload it into the client's file in your CRM. Everything happens automatically, streamlining that entire process, probably shaving upwards of an hour of your time and uh, giving that back to you for, again, more intakes and more important tasks. So that's that part of it. Now at this point, you've, you've signed them all up, you know, from start to finish. This process could have taken, you could sign somebody up at your firm, maybe in 10, 15 minutes. We have a lot of times where it's average call is about 10, 15 minutes to sign up new clients. So you'd be very surprised when you can streamline it. It might seem like a, like a large goal, but even with uh, fee-based attorneys, I've got them closing in 10, 15 minutes on the phone, getting payment and everything. You can do that if you streamline everything, create that web, create that intake process, and then just put automation where it needs to be. Use law rulers tools that are there to help you convert. You'd be surprised at how, at how quickly you can start converting clients and grow. Now, the other part of this process too is the part that a lot of people forget about is phone calls. You know, luckily law ruler, we're one of the only CRMs out there that have a built-in phone. So if you're working remote, or even if you're working in the office and you want an easy solution to call people and remember to call them so they don't have your cell phone number, Law Ruler really gives you a good solution for that. It's a soft phone available right inside the software, and you can actually use the automation to schedule those calls to go out. Now, it's not an auto dialer because auto dialers are terrible. They kill conversion. Everybody watching this, I guarantee, as soon as you answer that phone and you hear the boop, like somebody's about to pick up, you hang up because you know it's a spam call. We don't do that. All we do is we schedule the calls. You have to hit accept. That is when it starts dialing it out. So you will never hear that boop sound on that call. It just connects you like a normal phone call. No spam warnings whatsoever. It's a legitimate call. Now, the nice thing, again, with scheduling it is you're not going to forget about it. So if you have a client that you've been waiting on documents, you just want to follow up for, it's hard to remember on a daily basis. Even with tasks, you might overlook it for more important stuff. With a phone call, it's automatically queued up for you. You just go into available, you just hit accept. It's a lot easier than having to sit there and dial each person's phone number one by one. If you don't want to schedule the callback, you can even do click to dial if you want to do it that way. This way you don't have to spend time dialing. You don't have to do any kind of phone apps. It just works. And it's all recorded inside of the client's file so you can keep track of how often you've contacted them. The nice thing too that I like about it, probably my favorite feature, and this is just something that people have an issue with across the board in multiple industries. So when somebody does answer, oh, I can't talk right now. Can you call me back at five? Nobody remembers to call that guy back at five. You have a lot of other stuff going on. And by the time you remember, it's too late. He's already at home eating dinner. With Law Ruler, the dialer gives you an option to call people back at a specific time to where it'll just prop up that call at that time so you'll never forget. So it's a really good feature. I really urge you to check it out if you're not already using it or if you wanna learn more best practices, please contact us. We're happy to show you anything we can with the dialer. It is really a powerful tool that you have at your fingertips that could really help you close more deals. So now that you've streamlined this intake process, the next part about it is improving it even further now that it's all built in. 
Custom reports and dashboards allow you to take advantage of all the data you're now gathering based on the new intake process you've set up. With Law Ruler, we have features like our dashboard where you can check in how many intakes you've got, how many people are signing up, where all your leads are coming from. This allows you at a glance for the funnel metrics to say, okay, I can break it down by source. If I'm getting people from Google, I'm getting people from Avo, Martindale, you know, these are where all my leads are coming from. How many leads are coming? Do I need to put more money into it or do I need to, do I need to pull back and spend less because I'm not converting that well? This will really equip and empower you with those decisions to, to really improve your business and grow because when you're tracking that data, when you have that simplified intake system, all the data matches perfectly. And you're gonna be able to use that data to make those smart marketing moves that are gonna help launch your firm into the next bracket. It's gonna help you grow into, into the, next, um, the next goal that you have. And it, it, it's, really, it's really incredible to see the kind of data you gather because I have firms that never realize, you know, some of their best marketing sources they thought that were performing so great. They run the report and they're like, I'm getting 500 leads, but I'm rejecting 300 of them. Why? And then you start tracking reason for rejection. You start realizing that you have a keyword in the pool that everybody gets rejected from and it's just not a good fit for you. You can now change that keyword to something that works. Other things you can do is improve parts of your process with the custom reporting. You can see in one of the reports we have, you can see how long somebody's been on a current milestone and how many tasks they have and complete on that milestone. You can use that to find the largest time holes in your process and work on improving them little by little. Because it's an ongoing process, you know, companies that are innovating are the ones that are gonna grow. You have to constantly be looking at these custom reports and dashboards we give you in order to, you know, once you make that simplified intake process, you need to keep auditing it to say, okay, where can I improve next? Where can I improve next? And the firms that do that and use our reports to their full capabilities are the ones that grow incredibly quickly. I've seen people go from a solo practitioner to having over 20 associates within a year and a half. You know, it's incredible the kind of growth you can fuel in making the right decisions. So with that being said, that brings us to the end of streamlining your intake. We're coming up with 10 minutes left. So what I'd like to do now is jump into a Q&A session where you guys can ask any questions here in the chat or in the Q&A section of Zoom. And I'll go ahead and answer them for you. So I'll go ahead and open up the floor. Does anybody have any questions for me? All right, it looks like Kiana asked, where can, sorry, I'm just trying to understand the question. I apologize. Where can you, okay, I think where you asked, where can you set up automation? So when you're inside of Law Ruler, if you go to automation and AI tasks, if you have permissions, you do have to be um, given permission to edit those. You can do that in automation and AI tasks. On the left-hand sidebar, you'll see a little section for automations. You can go in there and you can actually go in, create new automations, do an audit of the ones that exist. Um, I recommend spending a lot of time in there. There's also like a little support um, button in the top left of your Law Ruler portal. There is a few click-by-click -click tutorials on how to set up automations there as well to help familiarize yourself with it. How do you know if automations are working and they're helping improve your process? That's a good question. Um, the way you do that is in automations, uh, there's actually a report. If you, instead of AI and automations on the first selection, if you go down a little bit, there's a report where you can actually track the success metrics of all your automations. You can see open rates, click rates, all your interactions. Um, you could tell, you know, how does your engagement look? And you can tweak them little by little to improve your process. The more you tweak it, the better the results are going to be because automations and the copyright you put in them are incredibly important. And if you see that one of them you send out is having, you know, a lot of people open it, but nobody click on it. If there's a link, that's a problem. You need to change some of the wording in there to make it more effective. All right, does anybody have any further questions for us?
All right, perfect. Well, thank you everyone so much for attending the webinar today. We really appreciate your business. Thank you for um, considering Law Ruler if you're not already with us. For those of you who have already joined the Law Ruler family, thank you again. We appreciate your business. If you ever have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us at, law, at support at lawruler.com or reaching out to your account manager. You can also go to our website and hit the contact us button to schedule a demo and find out more about Law Ruler. Thank you and have a wonderful day, everyone. Goodbye.